What's going on guys? Captain Bug here. Today's game we're playing some Malzahar in the mid lane rocket. That new skin though that just came out. Hextech Malzahar. Guys, the skin's pretty cool. It's not my favorite. It's a little bit strange in some ways. Like the splash art makes him look kind of strange. This neck all out like this, right? I don't really know what that's about, but the recall. The recall, guys. This is completely like Iron Man. I mean, look at his face. It's like an Iron Man mask and all these pieces going on him. It's an absolutely Iron Man inspired skin, without a doubt. So let's get ourselves here, the Dorn's Ring to start, a few potions and the trinket. Head over towards the lane where I'm not really sure the matchup is just yet, but we'll find out here soon enough. We're playing against a Twisted Fade. Okay. You know, Twisted Fade's actually a pretty good lane for Malzahar, especially since I took TP. Because, of course, when TF hits 6, he's going to go to the other lanes. And I can always follow him with my teleport, provided it's still available. And the most important thing to make sure it is available is to make sure that I'm not having a weak early laning and then use my TP to get back to the lane. If I can push out TF then I can always use my TP to follow him. Whereas if I'm using it just to get back to lane because I'm being pushed out, then I'm going to have a problem. So for the beginning here, I'm not going to use my E just yet because I want to start making sure I can chain it with minions that I actually will finish off. Right, you can see we are going to miss one, but it is going to bounce the TF and I'll get some auto attacks in there. So that's actually a pretty good trade for us, evading his wild cards there, gain more auto attacks in there. It's actually a pretty good idea to auto attack harass with Balzahar since if you're running summon area like I am in today's game, you will get lots of good harass with those auto attacks, but unfortunately, we're not playing perfectly just yet, so we are going to lose our pass a little bit there. Alright, he's two as well. I think I might hold my E for this minion, actually, just since no minions are nearby it to bounce. Alright, he is pushing us a little bit here, actually, so I probably want to change that up. I'm just going to start wailing on this guy. Yeah, because we, we can out-trade him in most scenarios. We have Kha'Zix ganking, but Kha'Zix level 2, it doesn't have his leap, so I don't really know why he's ganking. It's a little strange, but... We could still do our thing here as Malzahar. Yeah, TF's very, very low. I'm gonna miss the occasional minion as Malzahar, just because he's kind of awkward to farm with. And, okay. I mean, <laughs> you guys can do this if, it's, if you really insist, but... I would not recommend. Wow, I'm missing lots of farm, though. We're only down one, though, so it's not so bad. And you really want to gold card me. Uh, couldn't get that either. Okay. Well, he's out of mana, and Kha'Zix is still 2. I don't know why he's trying to gank so hard when he's level 2. Oh, are you serious, dude? That's so not fair. That's not fair. I hate Malzahar's farming. <laughs> Dot damage is just not reliable for farming at all. Once it gets strong, it's not bad. It becomes like Singe Poison, but until then, it's just more of a hindrance than a help in a lot of ways. And this one I'm going to have to miss. There's no way to get that one, but I can get this here. Right? Nope. Oh, no, I still got it. Good. All right, the rest of them should be easy. I think. Nope. Come on. Got it. All right. 12 to his 11. We're at least winning. We're at least doing the most important thing, and that's winning. All right. I'll attack Harass. Get that summon area in there. All right. Two points at E. I'm going to go for a fight with him here. He's not close enough for me to get my little Voidlings in there, but still lots of damage hitting him with the Space Aids and the Silence landing as well. If I had Ignite, I could go for an all-in, but without Ignite, I don't know if I have enough dot damage. Voiding the wild cards. I might have to flash into range just so I can get my Voidlings into the fight, too. We'll see. All the bounces. He's still sticking in this lane. I think the Space Aids? Oh, Space Aids aren't good enough, dude. Damn, I really thought we could get him there. I really thought we could try. But not quite going to get him on this one. Alright, well with that though, he's definitely going back to base here. He has no teleport, so we have a little bit of an edge over him in that way. So I'll just shove this wave out to his turret, hopefully. And go from there. Oh, oh okay, I'm not getting out any of these, am I? No, no. Oh, yeah, that's the one I could get. Hopefully with our time coming back to the lane after getting items, we'll have an easier time farming. We're still doing 28 here to a 17. We're definitely winning. We have the best in the match, but man, I always just beat myself up when I miss farm because I do not like missing farm. But if you guys are enjoying this game here, regardless of the farm being missed, make sure to leave that rate on the video. Helps out a lot. You know, maybe subscribe as well if you're enjoying the atmosphere of the video here so far. But if you are for any reason not liking what you're seeing, feel free to leave that dislike because that actually helps me out quite a lot as well. And I would greatly appreciate that. I think for now though, let's just get ourselves some items here. I want to work towards the lost chapter. Because I am going to be looking towards actually getting the Ludens Echo Rush. Ludens Echo is just really good to help you with the farming with the Malefic Visions. 
but it's also nice for, you know, more damage output, more mana as well. A lot of good things coming from that item. Does it still get move speed? It used to get move speed, but I think they removed that. Yeah, they removed that a while ago. Move speed's pretty good on Malzahar, though, so that's why I was kind of thinking about it. Alright, I'm gonna miss this first one, but I think we can get the others. Alright, let's do this. Get Voidling set up, and got it. I thought just, you know, using a lot of damage, damaging spells might be the way to go. Since I've got plenty of mana to spare, and I just don't want to miss the siege meeting again. We've already sailed down that road. Okay. Gain some vision control, and hey, TF's bottom. I'm on the way down too. Might be able to cut him off. Yep, here he is. I do really well in all-in trades like this against TF because I have my little void links. Provide doesn't kill them, of course. Alright, teammates are all collapsing. Yep, we're gonna get the kill on TF. Nice. Yeah, like their team is trying to collapse a little bit. I'm pretty sure the ignite by TF was used, but I'm just not low enough to be in any danger. Alright, we'll get void links set up. Take out the drift. <coughs> Never mind, they're gone. <laughs> the void links are not strong yet, man, at all. They just they just get rocked. Let's see, are they going to die immediately again? Yep. Unfortunate. I could use my visions here, but honestly, it's a bit of a waste of mana since it's not going to get an opportunity to do any damage. But then again, these Voidlings aren't doing much either, so maybe I'm completely in over my head with this one. And hey, Camille's here. I have ult, so that's why I was kind of looking for it, but I don't think I'm going to get into range. Yeah, it's Camille. She's just going to use her hook shot to get away. Alright, well, TF's back. Back with a vengeance. Oh, I thought I dodged the cards. Guess not. I definitely want to begin poking this guy down and looking for opportunities to maybe take him out. Since we are getting to that stage in the game where I have the Malzahar ultimate, and that's when you have a lot of pressure with, Mal with uh, Malzahar. Oh, I didn't get the siege, dude. What? Um, Mr. Guy. <laughs> Mr. Guy, what are you doing? <laughs> that was a really bad ult, but the same moment the guy was under tower just long enough for me to get one more tower shot in there. He stunned me because the card was already midair once I pressed R, so I didn't get the full channel off like I had hoped, but either way, like, he's by TF. Nice knowing you, dude. Oh, and he's back on the map somewhere. Is he going mid? Yeah, he's just going to go back mid. All right, well, I'll base here. I have TP available, but no alt. And without my alt, without my ultimate, TP into a lane to gank isn't really like a huge help to anybody. So I'm probably just going to use it by, go back to lane unless, uh, I don't know. It really depends on how fast TF pushes, to be honest. And like he's not pushing super, super fast. So I think I might just walk. But I kind of want to TP right here because that might actually be really good. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. I'm on the way. Oh, the hook comes in too. This is perfect. That Jin is so screwed. Right? Oh, yeah. There's one kill coming through. All the Voidlings stacking up. <laughs> How do you like this apple? These apples, bro. See a flash? Yeah, he's got flash. The poison went over the wall, but I don't know if it reached him. Alright, that was still really good for us. Let's get the control word down here in the river. And I don't know where TF roamed off to. Oh, here, here he is. Okay. I should be able to just walk in and get the farm. But I'll just do this to show I mean business. Yeah, chunked out TF good. Alright, didn't get all of them, obviously, but getting a decent amount of them. As the game progresses, it gets a lot easier to farm with Malzahar. Early on, it's tricky. Oh, okay, I'm going to max Q second, I think, here this game. I like the uh, burst it provides, and let me just drop this down, and maybe the E will get me all the kills for me. Yep, nice. I just see that Kha'Zix is pinging the blue, so I want to make sure I join him for this one. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, I've got ultimate in 18 seconds. I probably can kill TF on my own, but having help would make it all the better. And he's not going to walk into my stuff here, so we can just walk at him. Some of the runes I'm running give me a lot of sustain when I'm doing damage, and here comes Kha'Zix. Oh, man, that's just such a free kill. <laughs> that guy just got eaten alive because he was so isolated, right? And if Camille wants to fight me here, she's going to have a bad time with that too. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'll just push back in mid. But yeah, when we clear the wave like we did there with our Malefic Visions and our AoE spells, it makes it really easy for Kha'Zix to do that isolation damage when he has that upgraded. It leads to easy kills. And I don't really mind tanking mini waves and going really aggressive like that, since for our runes, you can see what we're running here. We do have Ravenous Hunter, but also Taste of Blood, so like a lot of sustain comes from our kit. 
And as Malzahar, there's actually a lot of reasons why you'd see him be played jungle. And one of those reasons is because of his Voidlings tanking the camps for you. So I very frequently want to look for opportunities to clear things like the Raptors, specifically on their side, more than my own. And let's just all in you because you are suiciding and beating an ape. <laughs> what are you doing, son? Why are you beating an ape? That's my move. All right, well, all the minions go down. Easy kill for me. TF's clearly tilted, and that works to my advantage. Okay, let's get these raptors for ourselves. Start focusing on the little ones so I can bounce. The bounce, the bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, the patience ran out. It's okay. We got lots of little void links. And yeah, this is how you get a lot of farm as Malzahar. Because it's really tough to do it in the lane itself, I find. But if you do it here in the in the uh, jungle camps, you know, it might be robbing your own jungler. But as long as you find a way to not rob them too much, it's usually a pretty good way to go. So yeah, I'll just keep shoving in mid. Alright, I'm going to block... His gold card with my passive. That's why I was being aggressive. I know I have that passive, so I'm all good to go. Now, I don't know where Camille's at, but she could be around for all I know. So I'm just going to kind of walk this way, because there's a vision plant here, and see what I can find out. So her red's gone. Her raptors are up, and I see her actually taking the control ward. So I'm going to continue doing the farm game like I was doing before. Alright, that was a very awkward use. Oh, shit, I hit the big minion, too. Or the big raptor. Yeah, I'm definitely not farming this as effectively as I could be here, but we're still going to get it done, so it's fine. Cool. Yeah, now we definitely have the most farm in the game. Twitch has, like, a pretty comparable number, but he's also not farming jungle camps, and that's why we're happy we had a little bit more. Alright, TF's bottom. Hopefully our teammates can survive, because I actually cannot help this time around. Looks like they won't. Unfortunate. I probably should have pinged the missing. Usually I expect players just to kind of see the map and know where my mid laner's at, but picking the missing, it's probably a good thing to do if you have any sort of concerns about where your team may think the opponents are at. But yeah, without TP though, like I can kind of roam bottom, but it's probably best if I don't, since getting far mid lane is way better for me and thus my team. From here, I think I want to go Rylai's or Leandri's. I'm not sure which. I'm going to pick up the items towards either though, being just, you know, obviously finishing the Ludens, but then just an Amptel. They might be on this, actually. I kind of want to TP in, but even if I do, like, I can't 1v3. And my teammates are nowhere nearby, so I think they just get Infernal for free. Either way, like, we're we're up 12 to 2, so we have a pretty good early game advantage here, and they're not even doing it, so... Yeah, we're okay here. Even if they were doing it, we would still be really ahead. So nice Luden's Burst to get things started. And I missed that Siege Mina, are you serious? Feels bad, dude. Oh, and that nice bounce to TF. Glorious. Oh, I'm missing the Q, though. Alright, tower shot blocks that. I like that. I think it's all in this guy. Yes. Sorry, TF. Not today, son. Oh. You going for this? I mean, I can try and help you. Yeah, there we go. See, Kazakhs went really, really deep. And that was really aggressive. But if he's going to go that deep, I may as well back him up. Because we can still kill Camille. The minute she didn't use her... Her hook shot sort of thing off of the wall to get to safety and instead was like run to the tower is the moment I realized I can definitely kill her as long as she doesn't have flash and I don't know. She probably would have used it sooner if she had it, so that's how I know. And Braum. Mr. Braum, you're not respecting my Malzahar damage. But then again, maybe I'm not respecting Jin's ability to kill me. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, I'll take the trade. That's fine. I don't mind. Damn, Mia. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't worried. I could see on the map that you guys were taking bottom lane and stuff, and they probably were going to roam. But yeah, let's get that, uh, let's get that Haunting Guys. Haunting Guys is just so good for Malzahar, for the extra magic pen it provides. But instead of being magic pen, actually, they changed it, but deal more damage for each second in combat with champions. So, like, as my ultimate is, like, working its way on them, it'll do more damage, since I am shredding them a little bit with that bonus damage I get. And that TF, man, oh. Oh, I thought he was going to die there for sure, but he does flash to safety. Good for him. All right, so I'm gonna head bottom here, actually. Uh, Urgot has TP, never mind. But yeah, I'm just gonna head bottom, and we can control Infernal Dragon, because we can see our bottom lane went mid. Lane Swapperino. And yeah, we should probably look for the Infernal here pretty soon. 
but I can still continue farming jungle camps. That's what we do best. And I probably should put my Malefic Visions on the squishier one. Yeah, if you can help it, put the Malefic Visions on the squishier target, whichever one it is. Kills them quickly. More bounces, more mana reset. Yeah. I like the sound effects of the skin, too. They're pretty sweet. But yeah, I'll farm bottom for the time being. If my team really needs me, I can TP in, but I kind of want something to TP to. And it seems like they're okay. Yep, double kills coming through. Team's fine. Got him. Okay. How much further can I take this? Because we have two down. My team's pressuring mid pretty well. I just haven't totally decided what I want to do here. Looks like Shop Blitzcrank. But I think he might be... Yeah. Oh, the Ignite, though. The Ignite will get the kill. Alright. Not bad. Braum's just going to take that from himself. Or defend that by himself. I mean, we can... We can maybe walk on through here. Get that tower, possibly. Nice Luden's proc to clear most of them out. Give me this tower. You want to fight this? You want to fight this, Braum? Yeah, you, you didn't know what you were in for, did you? Oh, you walked into it. All right, tower is gone. Do we have anything for Braum, though? Doesn't look like it. All right, nice and easy. Oh, and Twitch cleaning up the Tom Kench. This Tom Kench is putting some work in against the Urgot, actually. You don't see Tom Kench too often anymore, but when you do, somehow, some way, they end up being a nuisance no matter how... How strong they are or weak they are, they're, it's Tom Kench, he's always a nuisance. Alright, Voidlings, make me proud. Yes, they're not getting one shot, they're getting two shot instead. This is an improvement. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of my Voidlings. Okay, rotating back to the mid lane, TF, back to his usual charade of I go mid, I feed. Maybe not so much this time. Don't take the siege. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, TF. Nope, he's he's back to the mid and feed, just slightly closer to topside this time. Okay. All the raptors are mine. And this big raptor should go down pretty well. Yeah. Oh, hi. I should, probably should have ulted her there. Oh, the problem getting caught. I'm not sure how far I can take this. Yeah, I'm gonna try and drop tower to aggro here. Oh. Alright, he's probably gonna. Oh, a nice split crank block. I like it. Yeah, sure. Shoot me. <laughs> I don't care. We're pressuring. There's nothing you can do about it besides snipe me out repeatedly. Holy crap, that guy's 0 and 8. Jesus. I mean, I would, I would love me some blue buff now that I'm out of mana. Oh, 29 HP. Oh, Camille. Nice try, bitch. Uh. Alright, Kha'Zix should have it. Alright, looks like we might be getting overrun here a little bit, but I think we can handle it, right? Oh, Braum's gonna stun us here up if I don't want to play this appropriately. Let's just try and kill the Jin as fast as we can. Yeah. I was gonna die there no matter what there. They were all focusing me, so at a certain point, it's like, okay, I'll just use my ultimate before I go down. Maybe take down Jin since he's the biggest damage dealer there, but yeah, we still go down. I guess maybe a TF would have been better to focus since Jin never actually hit me. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh well, that's totally okay by me. From here, I guess we could finish Leandri's, but I want cooldown boots. Cooldown boots are amazing. And uh, I'll sell this. Pick up the Ruby Crystal. I'll go towards the uh, Rylai's here next. The combination of Rylai's and Leandri's is just so good for Malzahar because your little Voidlings all apply auto attacks that actually trigger spell effects, so all their little auto attacks re-trigger the, uh, the health shred from Leandri's. And Rylai's making them slow, it makes it even more powerful. So I haven't really used my TP much this game. Admittedly, there's not really much need to. Malzahar is really good with TP for the reasoning of keeping yourself in the lane phase early on when you struggle, because Malzahar tends to struggle early, but also really good for split push plays. But our team's just been dominating non-stop that we haven't really needed to split push. But I think I'm going to start split pushing, split pushing a little bit more now. There we 
we go. Yeah, my team's just pushing down mid. They don't really need to be this uh, aggressive towards the win. But there's no reason not to either. Yeah, the farm just comes to you naturally now once you have a good amount of AP for your Malefic Visions. Oh, this, this Jin's getting caught out. Twitch might find the kill here immediately. Eek. There it is. Yeah, it was just a matter of when he was going to do that. Oh, hold on. Their team's looking for a fight. I'm on the way over. Oh, Camille's looking for it. Oh, where's the, where are they going? Oh, they're going right here, I think. This is so awkward. <laughs> I want to be useful here, but like, where's everyone going? Oh, there's TF. Alright, I'm on the rotation. I'm going to try and make sure I back up my tw my uh, Twitch here. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. <laughs> what are we doing? Kill this guy. Oh my god, no. Twitch. My boy Twitch. Alright, I'm going to ult this guy. I got the Voidlings going to join on him. Malefic Visions, please. Thank you. Alright. Oh, not enough. Alright, well, I'm out of range of that. I couldn't quite get the TF, though. I couldn't get in range to use Visions. Oh, Jin's here. Jin, do you want some of this action? Are you ready for this? Oh, he walks right into it. Alright, block that tower shot. Are you gonna pin yourself against the wall? Is that a good idea? Oh, you're so dead. No chance. Alright, gold card coming through, but we can put the cube behind him. And look at this guy just getting absolutely demolished. The visions, the voidlings, the silence. What's this spell called? Call of the Void. It's all coming together. I come on a base here, but I'm kind of scared of Camille and the rest of their team. But I have TP, that's why I'm basing here, because I can TP right back in. There we go. Rylize. And, oh, there's no minions left. Alright, I'll TP right here. I'm on the way back, boys. I got you. I got you. Go fast. Look at this quickly levitating Malzahar. Alright, we have so much health straight on this guy. Look at him, just getting demolished. Bye bye Alright, Braum, you're next. Slow is landing. Divisions? Cute. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Alright, sorry, Camille, but not today, bitch. Oh, look at all these people I've been destroyed! Come on! Get get them! Visions! Yes! Ho, oh, baby! All the kills coming through. That was the hard things. Alright, inhibitor time. They have no one up, and we're all up. The TP coming in handy. Not exactly in the traditional fashion of using it, but... Definitely worked, no doubt about that. Tom Kench is on the way up. Can we win in time? I don't know. Oh, here comes Tom. Sil oh, I missed the silence. Damn it, dude. All right, well, hold on. Where is he? Oh, he's over here to the side. I got to be, like, so cautious here because, like, their team's all coming up, but I, I kind of want to go ham. <laughs> Get silenced. Oh, they're looking for Blitzcrank. Let's try and defend him here if we can. A lot of damage going down. Oh, big Q. Oh, huge Q. Don't do it, Jin. Don't do it. Tom, don't do it. Yeah, got them all, baby. Who's left? Camille. Where'd she go? Are you just in the base? You're just in the base. Oh, wait. My ultimate didn't work. She canceled it with her E. Oh, but Urgot gets the finisher. Okay. So I used my ultimate just a split second too early. I wanted to actually get hit by the CC and then use it. I got the timing wrong. But either way, hopefully you guys liked this game. If you did, make sure to leave that like rating as I mentioned earlier. It would really help out a lot and subscribe for more videos. And feel free to leave that dislike if you didn't like it. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.